single seat cowling is available as a genuine accessory. When attached, it enhances the aerodynamic silhouette and raises the look of quality to one of ultimate styling. The new seven-spoke wheel design improves the feel of tire grip and contributes to greater handling stability. Comprised of a projector type LED high beam coupled with four low beam LEDs that shine across a reflector panel. This up the new LED position lights with integrated turn signals are a first on a Suzuki motorcycle. White lighting. The bold new LED tail light and rear turn signal design creates a wide sharp accent that 340 cubic centimeter liquid cooled four stroke DOHC 16 valve inline four engine. Developed using the latest CAE and a new exhaust header pipe connecting cylinders one and four. Optimized cam profiles a one millimeter reduction in the throttle body inner diameter and a 12 millimeter extension to the overall intake pipe length combined to increase engine output. Its spray strikes a reflecting plate in the funnel and forms a fine mist that contributes to increase in power and torque output. These This combines with the introduction of a second O2 sensor to help satisfy Euro 5 emission standards. Refinements to the twin swirl combustion chamber improve the intake flow coefficient as the valve begins to open and increase combustion. E a new assist and slipper clutch brings a lighter touch to clutch lever operation and provides smoother shifting and engine response during engine braking and corner entry. Engine adopts Suzuki's ride-by-wire electronic throttle system. It provides linear response with a light, natural feeling to throttle operations. And because the ECM controls throttle body action, it allows AIM incorporates extruded aluminum sections that lend the right amount of suppleness and strength to its overall rigid alloy structure. These sections are critically important in achieving the overall balance required by machines that deliver ultimate performance, which is why they're also used in a number of supercar frames efficiency among street legal motorcycles and earns it a podium spot as one of the top three in terms of CDA. The chrome moldings on the side draw wind away from the right. Changes to the front suspension and shock absorber settings achieve great high-speed stability and nimbler more controllable handling at low to mid-range speeds. Bridgestone's new Batlax Hypersport S22 tires were designed exclusively for the Hayabusa to provide better grip, all while retaining a great level of durability. Years of joy. Brembo's latest Stilema radial mount front brake calipers feature a lighter, more compact design that cools the brake pads more quickly. These calipers combine with the 10 millimeter increase in the outer diameter of the 320 millimeter floating front discs to improve. MotoGP machines inspired the holes introduced in the clutch and brake levers. They add a fine design touch while also reducing the chance of wind pressures on, as do the large analog speedometer and tachometer, while now benefiting from a number of new touches that make its functional brilliance shine even brighter. Gold color accents add an extra look of luxury. At one standout new feature is the TFT LCD panel mounted in the center. It displays either the current SDMS Alpha system settings or an active data display that shows lean angle with peak hold function, front and rear brake pressure, rate of forward reverse acceleration, and the current accelerator position lighting to provide a clearer view and faster recognition. Designed to optimize performance characteristics to match the needs of the moment, they offer a strong sense of communicating directly with the bike's hard and supporting these advanced control systems is a new six-axis inertial measurement unit supplied by Bosch. It allows the rider to choose settings for each of five different control systems as a group. SDMS Alpha offers a choice.
and more proactive the system is in limiting wheel spin. The system constantly monitors front and rear wheel speed, engine RPM, throttle position, and gear position, as well as the amount of lean angle. It lets the rider select between three different output characteristic modes. Mode 1 provides the sharpest throttle response. Mode 2 provides more linear power delivery with softer throttle response. And Mode 3 provides the softest throttle response and a more gentle power curve with reduced maximum output. Suzuki's bi-directional quick shift system allows the rider to shift up or down without operating the clutch or throttle. Smooth shift changes help keep the focus purely on riding. The whole system uses data input from the IMU and other sensors to work toward keeping the front wheel on the ground when accelerating. This helps maintain a more stable posture off the line. The brake control system provides control over the effective strength of engine braking. This makes it possible to suppress rear tire sliding or skipping when decelerating after releasing the throttle grip or downshifting. Launch control helps ensure smooth, efficient acceleration from a standing start. The system aims to limit engine speed and optimize torque transfer so the rider can open the throttle wide and concentrate solely on operating the clutch. Mode 1 limits engine speed on launch to 4,000 RPM. Mode 2 operates at 6,000 RPM and Mode 3 the new Hayabusa introduces active speed limiter as a first in the motorcycle industry. It allows the rider to set a speed they do not wish to exceed and decelerate normally by backing off the throttle. With combined braking, simply operating the front brake lever provides braking power to both the front and rear brakes. This helps promote more comfort. The Motion Track brake system supports controlled braking in a wide variety of riding conditions. The ABS unit's ECM uses input from the front and rear wheel speed sensors, as well as vehicle posture data from the IMU to control brake pressure and achieve more effective braking. Helps prevent rear wheel lift when braking on a downhill slope. The ABS unit uses input from the IMU to monitor the bike's posture. And when the rider applies the brakes, control brake pressure to try and find the optimum setting to match the angle of inclination. And that, after stopping on an uphill incline, helps ensure smoother restarts, free of worries that the bike will roll backward. When turned on, the system uses input from the IMU, which constantly monitors the bike's posture to engage the rear brake for 30 seconds once the rider comes to a stop on a hill. It can be disengaged either by quickly squeezing the front brake lip. The emergency stop signal is another first on a Suzuki motorcycle. It rapidly flashes the front and rear turn signals to oil passages to deliver oil more efficiently and increase both the flow and pressure at the crank. The overall result is improved engine lubricant. CAE analytic tools were used to optimize the shape of the pistons and connecting rods. This reduces weight and increases rigidity in a manner that contributes to inside the wrist pin holes, further enhances durability by mitigating stress transferred to the pistons. Extending the length of the transmission shaft needle-bearing rollers also contributes to enhancing durability. In addition to subjecting the all-new Hayabusa to drop tests and vibration endurance tests, prototype units were ridden tens of thousands of kilometers to prove the model's metal. Such rigorous testing helped achieve an unmatched level of durability. Get ready to tame the beast and create new legends of your own. Get ready for the new Hayabusa, the ultimate sport.